Jack Dorsey may be best known for founding Twitter, but he's also the founder of Square. The mobile payment company is based in San Francisco, but recently expanded to Japan, its first overseas market. But will the world's third largest economy find it hip to be Square? The Wall Street Journal's Dai Wakabayashi recently caught up with Jack Dorsey in Tokyo. Square makes everything a little easier. I can take credit cards right on my phone. What is it about the Japanese market that you thought would be the good first, first overseas market for Square? It's a massive economy. It's a very mature economy. It's very cash-based. Um, and we think one of the reasons why it's so cash-driven is because it's really hard to accept credit cards. So uh, we think we can provide a simple answer, an easy answer. Literally, it took us two minutes to sign up online, and we had our reader in the mail the next day. How do you get people comfortable with the idea of using your service for you know, everyday payments, the, 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 the kind of things that you know, I think has helped to fuel Square's growth in the US? I think the biggest thing is making it so easy that no one has to think about it. They can just start using it. And, uh, and, and that's been transformational in the United States is we give people a free credit card reader. They plug into the phone, they swipe a card, money goes in their bank account the next day and it's done. So you don't have to think about it. You always make the sale. And in the US we found that if people don't accept credit cards, uh, a sale goes elsewhere. Those customers will leave. They'll go to look for an ATM and then they'll find another merchant that does accept credit cards. Just about Twitter, it's really uh, almost uh, become a phenomenon here. It's a, obviously a global phenomenon, but very much so in Japan. What what do you think makes it such a you know hit in, in this country? Yeah, it was amazing. Outside the United States, Japan was Twitter's first large market. Everything from people just using it to talk to each other, to talking about what was happening in the world, what was happening around them. We even saw Tamagotchis on it. We saw little cats um, who were being fed by other Twitter users, and, and we just thought that was the weirdest but coolest thing ever. So uh, for whatever reason, for many sets of reasons, it really spoke to the culture here, and uh, we're so thrilled to see it. And it's, uh, it's grown ever since, especially um, in the wake of uh, you know, the earthquake and the tsunami. Um, people are using it as a lifeline to, to figure out what was happening around the country and see that the world really cares about what everyone in this country is going through. For Digits from Asia, I'm Dai Wakabayashi.